What's up guys, it's Greg from Deer Blogger and welcome back to another video. In today's video, Travis asked us, is it possible to edit slash customize the login page in WordPress? And it is possible. I'm gonna show you two plugins how to do that with um, called Colorlib Login Customizer and Theme My Login. You can go ahead and just play around with these plugins right now if you want and maybe that'll do the job for you. But if you stick around, we'll learn how to customize that uh, one and only login page that we see every time we want to edit our blogs right here. All right, so once you're logged back in, the first thing you need to do is visit the dashboard, hover on plugins, and click add new. So we're going to start out with the Colorlib uh, login customizer because it's a little bit easier. It does the image and the logo. So Colorlib. All right, and there she is. So we're going to install now on this Colorlib plugin and activate. And our site should get a little more powerful. We'll now have a settings area for this plugin. Click on settings. All right, and if we just check out our login page right now, I don't think it'll look any different, but we're gonna make it look different. So we can click on top of the logo and you can grab your own logo. You can select image for a custom logo. And we can grab a logo we might have made together, such as the SHWB logo. If you get taken out of the right area, just go back and then click to Colorlib Login Customizer again, and it should reload the page for you. All right, so actually we're gonna use the left-hand options because that way the screen should stay the same. So let's go to Logo, and we're gonna remove it and then select it one more time. Okay, that worked. Just need to make it a little bit bigger, so let's drag and increase the size and maybe also the height. Try to keep that centered if we can. You can also have a login page title, like login to the site if you want. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back now and let's click on layout options. We're gonna keep everything centered here. Although if you have like a register option, you could go with the two column layout. Okay, back again. Now let's go to background options. We're gonna add a background image. So anything you want really would work that represents your brand choose image and there you have a background all right let's go back now that doesn't really represent my brand but I like it because it's a uh, singular image on top of a nice background we can go to general form options and here's where you can start changing up some of the really nitty-gritty details like how wide the form is for example I think that changed right there all right you can get rid of all the margin and padding if you want. Some of these things will have more of an effect than other settings, of course. You can change the background color of the form itself to fit the look of your page right here. And of course you can change how transparent that is as well. And of course when we do that we're going to need to change the text color as well. So let's scroll down and let's change the text color property, which will be the text that someone writes in there. And then we're also gonna change the label text color, which is gonna be making it a lot easier for people to read what's going on. You might also notice you can hide those extra links for lost your password and get back to this site. However, a lot of times people do need lost your password. We just need to figure out how to change that color. Let's go back. And we're gonna skip down to form button and links where we can change the link color of the links that are underneath the form. So just click on that and we're going to make that a nice white, super clear. All right, you can see you can really get nitty gritty here. You can change the button color itself. Maybe you're sick of that WordPress blue and you want it to be something more like a orange, which is an actionable color. You can do all of that here. Great, let's go back and let's explore those other two options, three options rather, which is login form text, so again, really good if you're sick of all the um, default WordPress options, you can write something clever or something that matches your brand. Go back again, let's check out the lost password form text. All right, so that's just like on a different page you see right here when you click on the lost your password link, that's uh, what takes you to this page. So no need to play around too much, I think this is effective. And then last but not least, we have a custom CSS option if you wanna really get nitty gritty. In any case, guys, that is how to create a custom login form for WordPress and how to change the login page. We can preview it if we X out. 
Just make sure you publish and save it first. Now let's go to our demo site and log out. And we can see our new login screen will load up automatically. We can just go to it um, organically by visiting our site forward slash login. And you can see the awesome new login page that you created. Great job, guys. Thanks so much to Travis for asking that question. Let me know any more questions in the comments, and I'll talk to you soon.